Day four of this 12-day soccer challenge. Today, all you need is a ball and a wall. So here's a routine that you can do, and it's just six different exercises. It's all about getting those repetitions, and I promise if you do this routine and you do it consistently, you will see a great improvement in both feet, especially your weaker foot, because you'll be adding up all those repetitions. <laughs> Let me start by saying that using a wall is one of the best things you can do to improve your shooting. Obviously I love shooting against a nice big net on a good patch of green grass just like anyone else. However, just think about it for a second. You're at the field, you have your one ball, you take your shot and then you have to run and get the ball. Even worse, you miss the net, you have to run all the way to get it, run all the way back just to take one more shot and do it all over again. In the time it's taking you to complete one shot at the field, you may have completed 30, even 40 shots against a wall. So it's a great tool to get lots of repetitions. Now, when you're practicing these drills, there's a few things I want you to focus on. The first thing is not your actual shot, but the touch you take before your shot. So learning to set yourself is a great skill when it comes to shooting. Just think about in the game, you're receiving a pass or you're dribbling. If your touch before you shoot is not good, the ball gets stuck in your feet, it's really hard to get a good shot off. So focus on getting a touch that gets out of your feet enough that you can step into it, but not too far that you're lunging for the ball. Now saying that if you do have a bad touch, I want you to hit the ball anyway. Because in the game, if you take that extra touch, you may have taken too long and the opportunity will be gone. So learn to adapt and make a good shot out of a bad opportunity. It will make you a better player and a better goal scorer. Next thing I want you to think about is just making good flush contact with your shots. When you're shooting against a wall like this, you don't want to hit it as hard as you possibly can. If you're just trying to kill the ball, the ball is going to fly off the wall and go everywhere and you're not going to have a good rhythm to your drills. So just focus on good technique, making flush contact with a flexed foot, meaning the center of the ball, pushing the ball forward, falling through forward, making the ball go straight so it comes straight off the wall and right back to you. And I talk about this in a lot of my videos. The best shots you're going to have in your life are not the ones you hit the hardest. They're the ones where you have the best technique. And as I'm watching this, I realized I probably could have done this a little differently. Instead of catching the ball, if you want to challenge yourself, just have a first touch 
and juggle the ball up in the air and then hit it off the hot volley or the full volley, whatever you're practicing at that time to make it more challenging for yourself. The last drill you'll be doing here, and you'll see all these drills again, is first time shots or one timers. And it's gonna be awkward, it's gonna be bouncing sometimes, sometimes it'll be on the ground, but it's so important with these that you really, really take your pace off the shots and just focus on making good contact, getting your body over the ball and redirecting it towards the wall. The faster or the harder that ball is coming back towards you, the less power you need, the more you need to focus on technique.